What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the world. I hope everyone is doing well. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, check out the About section of this channel for more information. Um, if you'd like to donate to the channel, my PayPal link is paypal.me slash guided tarot. Miss all of you guys. I'm doing some elemental readings. I am on the Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. From now until the end of August 2019. You guys are trying to make a decision about something that's not really moving forward right now. Um, for some of you guys, it is either working with another person, um, maybe something you do for work, or moving past this into something new. Um, some of you guys care a lot about a situation, maybe where there's a child involved. Um, maybe you're going to be communicating more with your child, but I feel like there's emotions here for whatever this is, but there's also the need to make a decision um, about which way you're going to be moving forward from here on out, balancing out the energies. Um, Deciding on a direction for the message for Taurus for book Capricorn from now to the end of August 2019. It's because it's like you guys have known for a while maybe two directions or two different ways of doing things. Overall energy is the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, the message for Taurus from now until the end of August 2019. Some of you guys have been very independent most of your lives. You do things on your own. You know how to do things on your own. Ace of Swords. Some kind of clarity or conversation. Virgo, the lovers. Capricorn. You have four wands. Page of Swords. Um... So you guys are going to be getting some kind of communication. Um, be careful about what you say to someone. I feel like it could go really bad or really good or it could kind of um, make or break you to a certain extent because I feel like some of you guys are perfectly okay with doing things that, the way that you normally do them. But with this staying at the Nine of Pentacles, yes, you're independent, but it's not like completely um, kind of like stable energy where it's solid. Two of Wands, Taurus. You are making a decision, or maybe what you need to know is that you're going to be getting the clarity about which direction that you are going to be going. Um, but it is going to require you to balance out some energy um, in your life, especially um, when it has to do with um, people that are around for passion and people that are around for other reasons. I just think that you, your energy is being affected by the things that you show like attention to what you're putting your time and effort into. Um, for some of you guys, it's needing to make a decision about someone in your life where you're having a hard time with that because a part of you feels bound to this. A part of you feels like you're stuck to this. Um, that this is what makes you happy. It's what you keep telling yourself so you hold on to it because it's stable. Um, because you're trying to make this other person happy or vice versa. And at the end of the day, I feel like some of you guys... Um, want to go in a new direction but you need to in a new direction that makes you happy but you're very guarded to maybe having the conversation about this or seeing the brighter picture about this um, of the truth of this because I think that some of you guys are afraid to um, tell someone um, maybe that there's more than one person that you want to be with or that, you know, someone that you're dealing with isn't who you thought they were or maybe this is your energy of 
kind of an illusion, but at the same time, like, you don't want to break hearts, you don't want them to break your heart, but at the same time, you're very bored, um, you know, you need to have this conversation about, like, what you truly want to do, even if it's not, you guys know what you want to do, but you have to put a lot of time and effort into it and communicate that either to this other person or to the universe or to another person, um, you need to make this decision. Um, that's when balance will be here. That's when all of the mixed feelings and kind of mind fuckery will stop. Um, and the victory will be coming in for you. But you got to get out of your head and, and maybe realize that some of the people you're around are maybe not around you for the right reasons or vice versa. And that you're not stuck in this mental prison. You just need to change the way you think take some time out to make a decision about something in your life, a person in your life, about what you truly want to do, um, because there's new opportunities where it's going to bring about everything that you've been looking for, but you also need to kind of um, understand that some of these karmic cycles and people that you're with need to go and you need to stop holding on to it and blocking other people out um it's time to have a conversation with someone that you care about it's time to tell someone what you want it's time to get out of a mental prison for a lot of you it's eight of swords you're stuck in your head like but it's like you're holding yourself back because you're not stuck in this you just feel like you are because you can't see Maybe what the truth is or what the answer is to whatever it is that you're in right now. Or maybe there's someone that's kind of messing with you and you need to stand up for yourself to this person. That you're able to be on your own if that's what you're afraid of. Or that maybe it's just time to for some of you guys to let go um, even if you care about them. Because there's definitely some healing but there's also a lot of toxic things here. Um... There might be a child involved for some of you. Virgo, you have the Lover's card with the Nine of Pentacles. And the Seven of Wands. Let's see. You are... Could be dealing with the Gemini, but you're also kind of on this path maybe where you're starting out new. And you're, you know, there could be a partnership here for you or some kind of... Six of Cups, some kind of relationship, but it's like you still haven't really made a decision about this. You're kind of like taking a break. You're like, eh, we'll talk about this later. I'm going to go to work, you know. Two of Swords, Death card, Eight of Swords. There again, you're very stuck in your mind too. But some of you guys also need to end this cycle with this person who is very mentally basically a mind fuck and they kind of play up your emotions um you care about them it could be a soulmate but it also could be an illusion or a fantasy that you have um and you've kind of been putting you did put the time and effort into this but all you ever got was fighting and mental confusion because this person is the way that they are and they kind of they did break your heart or they're still kind of the same energy around this um I do see you getting a lot of attention. I do see some unexpected, um, whoever this is, Virgo, they gotta go. This person needs to figure out how to make themselves happy and, um, someone's just doing something to fit in or something like that, like, that's what they think they should be doing, but at the end of the day, like, it's really their loss and the, their actions, um, could be, um, legal or... You know, they could get some repercussions for these actions. Um, but I do see a business or a job going well for you. But I think that it is also time to move away from something and take a new opportunity for some of you guys. Um, instead of staying stuck somewhere, speak the, speaking the truth to this person um, and taking the opportunity that comes in. Um, because it's going to be something that you enjoy doing. Or just being very vocal about, this is what makes me happy, this is what I'm doing, um, you know, I don't want to fight, I don't want to 
have to compete with people. You know, you want to, some of you guys just want to be your own boss. I feel like some of you guys do have this opportunity, but it is really about you taking your power back over yourself and your life, your mind, and, um, watch the way you're thinking about things because I don't think these are your thoughts or emotions or someone else's and they kind of fuck with your head a lot. And some of you guys are in a situation where it's very one-sided but it ends up like making you kind of suck. It's not really an even situation and I think that needs to end. You guys know how to go within and self-reflect and I think that it's time to do that about what really is going on here. How much load of the load you're carrying and, you know, um what old things need to be let go of um, so that you can move into, you know, calmer waters and get the attention and recognition you deserve and, and doing something that you truly enjoy. Capricorn, you have the Four of Wands and the Chariot. So, movement forward, balancing energies. I see this as being a really solid connection for you. But it's just taking it slow, you know? I feel like it's more of an idea for you right now. Um, maybe you're on some solo dolo shit. You're making your money. You're almost to that, you know, the Empress and the Minor Arcana type shit. Page of Wands, there's going to be... Or there was some type of ending here um, for some of you guys. With a friendship or another person, maybe a third party. Uh, I do see you moving out of this into calmer waters, into a new beginning. Maybe the situation that you're in now, but I feel like this was really unexpected, whatever this was. Like, yeah, you wanted to do it, but you didn't really think that it would end up being the way that it was, or that it, this is what it's going to be. Like, maybe just realizing that you do have new things being offered to you, despite what you've been through, and maybe not to be so guarded to this love, and not thinking that you have to handle everything on your own, and like not really being honest about like everything that you're going through because someone wants to work with you or someone wants to help you but they also don't want to see anything bad happen to you or vice versa like they feel like if they were to come and talk to you that you would just push them away even though there's still emotions here I think there was some type of ending for some of you guys but at the same time, it kind of put you in the position to kind of get the things that you truly want in life and not cater to other people um, because you're manifesting really good opportunities into your life. And I, I see success. So, I mean, that's awesome. It's just, you know, being patient and taking it slow. Things are definitely moving forward. Things are definitely being coming to fruition for you. Um, so whatever you're manifesting, I think is good for your life. It's, um, you know, it's just happiness overall and, you know, no more having the weight of the world on your shoulders, you know, having the support system, having the friends, having the, being able to talk about things and <clears throat> maybe it's bouncing ideas off people to make, or, um, to make a decision, but also, um, having stability in your life and making the decision to, you know, open up with your emotions a little bit and not run from them to move into, like, way better things here. And I think that it is okay to work with people sometimes and figuring out what you want, but also not not getting yourself stuck in your head and overthinking this. Some of you guys are healing. Some of you guys um, are the alchemist. You're kind of making this into something better, but you're also manifesting and healing at the same time, so it's a lot of crazy energy, but you're figuring it out. Whatever that one thing is that you truly want to do, go after it, because it'll be good. All right, that's all I have for you. Have a good day.